Hey guys, welcome to another Lone Tree Milson video. Today I'm going to be showing you how to install a speed trigger into a Crytek Chris Vector. Super easy to do and I'm going to go over it as quick as possible. First off, you're going to want to make sure you have no battery connected. So you're going to want to remove that as well as the battery connector pad. And you're going to want to remove any mags that are attached. And then you're going to want to focus on the three body pins here. Um, they are super easy to, to get out. You just got to push them through. Um, the bottom one is probably the hardest one to get because it is attached with the spring down there that holds that in place. So just use anything you need to pry that out. Once they're free, you should be able to take the top and the lower receiver apart super easy and just set them aside. Now you're gonna wanna focus on the front pin at the top of the rail. Uh, you can see where I'm pointing. You just gotta push it through with an Allen key or whatever you've got with you. And then that'll let you take the top rail off. Next up, we're going to remove the selector and the safety switch on both sides of the vector. Just get an Allen key and just pop those off. The next thing you're going to want to remove is these two Phillips head screws on the top. After that, you're gonna to wanna to remove the fake ejection port here with just these two Allens. Once that's free, you're just gonna to wanna to grab the back of the trigger and just pull forward. You'll see a little protector just come off and just make sure you keep that aside. But the trigger should come out pretty easy. Um, just watch that cable. All right, now you're gonna to wanna to find the body pin that holds the trigger in place. Uh, you're just gonna to have to push it through with an Allen or whatever you've got. It's pretty simple to get out. Um, but this holds the trigger in place. Now you want to keep an eye out for a little white spacer. Um, this helps it hold the trigger in the right location. So make sure you don't use that. It is quite important. All right, so now we're going to grab the new speed trigger and unpackage it. You're going to see a little spring and a white spacer in it. You're going to want to make sure you keep track of that. Uh, the spacer is going to go into the back behind the trigger. There's going to be a little hole there. And then the spring is going to go on top of it. Um, just hold them balanced right so that they don't fall out because uh, we are going to try and put them in. It is a little tricky to get them to stay. All right, so I would suggest first getting the spacer and the body pin and setting them up like this. Uh, this will help hold it in place when you go to install the speed trigger. So it should be pretty easy to get it in place. Um, once you've got it lined up, you can then push the body pin through, which will then hold the speed trigger in the right spot. Um, kind of wanted to make sure that it fits just like this, as you can see. So at the front of the speed trigger assembly, you'll see a little Allen key. This will let you adjust the pull of the trigger. Um, you're going to want to make sure that you can get it to fit just right. So you can test it by installing it on like this, and then you're going to want to pull the trigger and wait till you hear a little micro switch click. I wasn't hearing anything, so I adjusted the distance um, for the Allen key so that I can get a tighter pull. Once you hear a click, you are ready to put the gun back together. Just install the trigger assembly into the upper receiver as it was, and then install that little trigger uh, protector that goes in front of it. Uh, just there's a little groove for it where it'll fit in place. And then you're just going to want to go ahead and reassemble the gun back in reverse order as we had disassembled it. And then we will test it out once we've got everything put back together. All right, once the gun is put back together, you can grab your battery and test it out. If the trigger pull is not to your liking, you can always quickly take the body pins out and then get an angle at the speed trigger. And you'll see that little Allen key and you can adjust it to be a little bit less or more depending on your taste. If you guys did enjoy this video, make sure you leave a like and subscribe to the channel.